This is a privilege talking to Coach Jones. It's like 20 years since the UH heyday. These kids, I think they have to blink twice and think, wait a minute, I'm working with a former NFL guru. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but uh, they, uh, I, I'll tell you one thing, you sure find out uh, who wants to play and who doesn't want to play. A lot of these kids, I think, are got six stars or ten stars or whatever on their name and they think they've already made it. They haven't made it. You know, they got to pay attention to detail. You know, you find out that kids have changed. Um, the culture is, is interesting now. Uh, and, and, and guys will adjust. Coaches will adjust probably have the most success. But as far as the technical aspects of teaching the four wide, being able to read, are you expecting that from your receivers? Yeah, we're doing a little bit of it, not a not a ton of it. In this this setting, you don't have them long enough to really teach them teach them everything. But uh, you know, we're doing what we can do. We'll, we'll uh, make sure that we don't call anything that they are not sure of, and uh, limit it to come game day to what we do. You don't have to ask me this question, um, but I, I have to ask. Talia, uh, mm -hmm. star pupil, basically two years ago, your personal protege. I don't know what what else you could say about him that he did at Kapolei that was. Unprecedented. Yeah. Um, in the two years since then, I don't know if you had a chance to work with him often because he was away. Mm -hmm. But what are you seeing him now that's different, better, and even like, wait a minute, we need to we need to brush up on a couple of things. Well, he, uh, you know, he got a lot of ability. That's for sure. I, I just never, I haven't spent any time with him since that sophomore year at Kapolei until this week. But I see that he's got a quick release still and he's accurate with the football. And when he knows the route and knows what he's doing, he's pretty darn good. He's ready for Alabama. <laughs> he's better be ready. He's going. <laughs> what would you say to coaches who try to implement four wide? Right? I mean, of course, Coach Ron's still at St. Louis doing his thing. But the younger generation, the Rod Yorks at Milani and, and other players who become coaches, um, what do you see them doing and adding and or sub, sub, even subtracting yeah. from what they've well, learned? I think, I think uh, you know, a lot of coaches obviously uh, uh, from from 99 on, we kind of changed kind of high school football here to, to more pass and more spread formations. But I think everybody, you know, kind of did a little of what we did. And then there's a lot of guys uh, now that I had, Nady Lawa, Ricky Lumford, a bunch of guys coaching. And, of course, uh, the guys at Coppola is still running some of what we do. But they all put their own tinge on it, you know, whether it be an RPO thing, whether it be, you know, a, a, a sweep of some kind, you know, with the motion. Uh, everybody kind of tweaks it a little bit. And that's, that's why you're coaching. You're always looking for something better. My last question. Um... Besides the golf question I asked earlier, you've been too busy to actually do your, I don't know, two or three times a week probably be your dream. But, yeah. but if you were coaching now, what would be different for you? Or would you just, like Coach Ron, he keeps it simple, but yet they ran the ball 53% of the time this year because they people gave him that. Yeah. Yeah, what would be different for you? Well, I, I mean, I'm still coaching in the CFL, and, and you know, you tweak everything all the time. Yeah. And, you know, we're still running the base concepts, divide and switch and, and choice and all that kind of stuff. And, and uh, you know, we really haven't changed a whole lot uh, about it. I just, you know, you got to get the players to believe in what you're doing. And once they have that confidence so that they can't be stopped, uh, they go on to do great things. You got more solely there, right? Yes, yeah. Jeremiah Masoli. So he's still a, a, a pure passer, but he, can, he has the freedom to run. Yeah. You're not really telling yeah, him, hey, well, we're I running. Think I tell, the, tell this year, the last, well, half a year last year when I was up there, I said, Jeremiah, I'm going to teach you how to be a pocket passer. I don't want you to run only if everything else breaks down. Because I think this, he has so much run ability. In fact, I was talking to Mike Bellotti about it that every, nobody's really taken the time and taught him how to be a quarterback. And uh, they always think the RPO stuff is what Jeremiah should do. Jeremiah's as good a passer as I've ever had. Sure, in the NFL yeah. guys. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to go back next year and get all our receivers back and try to win a great cup. Thanks, Appreciate yeah. it so much, man. Thanks, bro. Let me get you